TDD. Alright, we're jumping into this set. What's the set count? 1-0. The DDD player uh, reigning like 10 times Street Fighter 6 champion. It's honestly kind of absurd and I'm kind of mad about it still. Uh, also holding up the Tekken bracket doing this, but that's besides the point. Wow, needs to be up smash. Yep. Oh, right on the ledge. Throwing up the, the spiky doodad. Gordo? Alright. I've never played no Kirby's. I actually do not have a switch. So, I'm going to try to process this through my brain. I think DDD is kind of like Iron Giant for multiverses and... And then Villager's kind of like Morty in that he's in a fucking like. Okay. Oh, yeah. That he's an annoying little brat with a thousand different little weird projectiles. Now, fun fact: in multiverses, um, all of Rick and Morty's, all of Rick and Morty's voice lines were reused audio clips from the episodes. This was because Justin Roiland was actively running from the police during the production of Multiverses, and they could not get in contact with him. Oh, that is... Okay. Oh, tree starting an edge guard. Doesn't matter, he's gonna hit him with that up air, up tilt. Got more annoying projectiles. 168 versus 31. Like yeah, we got a we got a lot of a lot of stuff in our face right now. Justin really clinging on. Justin clinging on. He said. Nine thirty, and I still have not run a single Titan set. Do we? We do. I love our face, man. All right, we gotta. Ooh, he's going under the stage. Right. Now, I want to propose a uh, rule change. That is like half the amount of time we're allowed to have. This shit is taking way too long. Like Tree Fighter, each round is max ninety seconds. Max three. I think Smash Bros. is like the golf of fighting games. Uh, only old people play it, only old people actually enjoy it. Any young person is enjoying these lines themselves and their daddy happy. Um, I think I think you're absolutely wrong. I think Smash has a great community. A lot of people love Smash Brothers, uh, especially a lot of the people in this club. That's why it's one of our biggest uh, uh, tournaments that we have here. All right, so we run Smash because people love Smash, and Ben's just salty because he's an old head fighting game nerd. So, uh, but we are enjoying this set. Now, the viewers, uh, when he calls me an old head, I am 20 years old. Yay! 
What I mean by that is he likes old video games like Third Strike. If that means scary to handle the fucking Wii U Third Strike pressure because he clicks mid tiers like Hugo. That's because I don't rely on top tiers. All right, that Ryu is a mid tier at best. That was a great set. Uh, one to one. We'll be going to game three. Stop the battle. All right, so Villager, and are we going to see a character change? I think I think we should pick Steve. I think that's a terrible oh. idea. Ooh, Rob! Another zoner heavy kind of into another zoner should be an interesting matchup. Rob into Villager. I don't know what this matchup is like, but apparently it's a little out there. All right, let's see. Here, do you want to get there? So Rob. Uh, he's kind of different than the rest of Smash Bros. Foster. He originated not as a video game character, but as a peripheral for the Nintendo Entertainment System back in, I believe, 1985 when it launched in North America. I believe his first entry into the series was Brawl. He was the one of the villains of the Subspace Episodes. The interesting reason why Rob exists was the post video game market crash in 1983. Uh, to justify, this is all real, this is all real, this is all real. Um, this is very interesting uh, trivia uh, that I'd like to thank the angry video game nerd for. Um, James Rolfe, great founding father of y the internet. Now, Rob was invented by Nintendo of America to get the Nintendo Entertainment System on store shelves because most store owners, primarily Toys R Us, did not see video games as a worthwhile investment. By creating Rob, uh, I think it's his robotic operating buddy. Uh, I think that's correct. I could be wrong. Uh, so, can you Google that real quick for me? Uh, by introducing Rob, he would actually assist by spinning those discs and pressing buttons on a player 2 controller for a select number of games he was compatible with. This was done in order to not pitch the Nintendo Entertainment System as a video game console, but rather a toy system. Is that Robotic operating buddy. I was on the money, didn't you, Jake Troll? Now, Rob in his very little footnote in the Nintendo history for a long time. Now, Nintendo very quickly dropped Rob once the Nintendo Entertainment System proved to be incredibly profitable with or without him. So he was very quickly forgotten. There was never anything similar for the SNES or the N64 or the GameCube or the Wii. However, with Smash Bros. Brawl, it started, came out around the time of the beginning of the game. So Nintendo really wanted to capitalize on this by introducing another 80s character. Was Pit in Melee? I don't think he was. He was not in Melee. Pit was in Brawl. Pit, this was before uh, Kid Icarus Uprising, had only been in one game on the Nintendo Entertainment System. So, between Pit and Rob's inclusion in the Smash Bros. Brawl, arguably the second worst entry, depending on who you ask. Do you think so? Brawl being the second worst entry? I don't know. Like, it had a weird board of scene from what I hear. I really enjoyed it when I was when I played it when I was young because I love Subspace Emissary. But some of the actual like gameplay mechanics, I say, were questionable. Uh, trivia mechanic, uh, Meta Knight. <laughs> but I, I enjoy the game regardless. I don't know if I'd say it's the most, but I haven't played the other Smash games apart from uh, Brawl to Ultimate. So. Very insightful. So, Brawl was sort of that introduction of that he, oh my god, what is he doing to him? What is he doing to him? Let him go. Trapped that ledge, could not DI. Stuck in that. What's the suck out? What did this do? What did this do? Like three? So, is that it? Yeah, it's not the stage spike, but what's it? All right, Justin has finally been knocked out of a bracket. That means at let's see what time is it? 9:41 Eastern Standard Time. I will finally be able to play my Tekken round. Uh, very uh, good, good, great match, honestly. All right.